How's it going everybody? My name's Eric. Welcome back to another episode of Shipping Tips for Small Businesses. Specifically, this was an eBay sale. We're gonna be shipping a pair of boots without the box, some pretty heavy boots that sold for some pretty good money. Now there's multiple ways to do this. There's multiple ways to ship it. This is just one way that I'm showing you to hopefully help somebody out there that doesn't know a whole lot about shipping. And I encourage you to watch this video as well as the playlist about shipping tips linked in the description as well as in the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into shipping these boots. These are pretty heavy. One boot weighs two pounds, four ounces. So both boots are gonna weigh about four to five pounds. You could put them in a plain box and ship them USPS, you could ship them FedEx, you could ship them UPS. However, because the buyer that bought these is a PO box, I'm limited on my options on shipping. I'm gonna be shipping them USPS priority mail. And hopefully they're going to fit in this flat rate box right here. This is a medium flat rate box, long and narrow one. It's probably going to bulge a little bit, but that's okay. And this will ship for about like 12 or 13 bucks. We're gonna create the bottom of the box by folding it in, taking off this adhesive, and then folding it down. We're gonna take boot number one. We're gonna put it in the sole side down. We're gonna slide it in and get it down as far as we can down the sole is basically, it's bulging a little bit, but it's all the way against this side. And then we're going to gonna grab some tissue paper, put some tissue paper to separate the shoes from like banging into each other. And then we're gonna take the other shoe. We're gonna put this like the top side in first, just like that. I'm gonna put another tissue paper just to take up any extra space on the top. And then we're gonna close it. Now you can see it's bulging a little bit. I don't trust this adhesive. So I'm going to grab some tape to secure those sides down. I'm on eBay picking my shipping. I'm on carrier packaging, flat rate shipping. They don't call it a medium flat rate box because it's under flat rate shipping. I guess they just call it medium box. We're gonna pick that. It's actually, oh man, it's gone up in price, 13.75. So I'm paying 13.75 to ship those priority mail. That's okay. We're gonna purchase and then I'm gonna print it with my thermal label printer. These don't use ink or toner. They just use heat and it does it on a nice adhesive backing as you'll see in a second. You don't have to use a thermal printer. You can use an inkjet, can use a laser printer, no problem. You'll, you'll have to tape your label onto your box. But because we got a fancy label printer, we're gonna grab our label, we're gonna peel it off, and we're just going to stick it right on the box and make sure we have some good adhesion. That's how we shipped these boots without the box. It's not the only way to do it. The, only, the worst way to do it would be to stand in line at the post office or UPS and have them pack it and ship it. That's gonna cost you a bunch more money than what you saw in this video. If you were just sending these to a friend or family member, I would recommend using Shippo or Pirate Ship. Link to those will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you wanna let me know how you would do this differently or if I made any mistakes, let me know about them in the comment section. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.